Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTrackYear.com. Today we're going to break down the Alpine Stars Missile V2 Leather Pants. The Alpine Stars Missile Leather Pants retail for $469.95. As of the time we're shooting this video, please understand we don't update videos for price changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. These pants are available in multiple variants. Right now we're showing you the perforated airflow model. They have different lengths, short and long, as well as regular. These are regular length. I think the airflow probably make the most sense for most riders out there given the fact that when you add a layer of leather like this, it does amp up the heat for sure, and it's always nice to stay cool when you're out riding. Sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 205 pounds, 34 inch waist right now. These are a size 52 euro. A good rule of thumb with the Alpine Stars pants that are in euro sizes is add 18 to your waist size. You do that with my 34, that takes you to 52. And I've got the fit that I would expect from these pants. Large ventilated panel, really large ventilated panel. These wear relatively comfortable for a pair of leather pants. I've got them zipped to this jacket. There's a full circumference zip. They include CE armor in the knee and shin. Same stuff you're going to find in the Alpine Stars race suits. These are their sport knee sliders. If you're a heavy knee dragger, okay, and most people that are buying leather pants to match with leather jackets, doing some street riding, probably not doing a lot of knee dragging. If you do drag quite a bit, these are going to wear out relatively quick. Just give you a little heads up there. Nice motion panel here in the knee. Alpine Stars logo embroidered on. The stretch fabric that, that is used in the crotch as well as the back of the legs is a little more lightweight than we see with their track V2 pants. Flows air freely and wears really comfortably. They have incorporated a calf expansion panel. I needed that on both sides. I've got that open. It just made the pants more comfortable, more conforming for me. We have two layers of leather in the impact zone here, in the hip, as well as the seat. Integrated tailbone pad. If you want to add hip armor, that is sold separate. That's available in the arm, armor section, Alpine Stars category, on our website. It's relatively inexpensive. It Velcros right in on the back side of the liner and takes that protection to the next level for you. If you like what you see so far and you want more details, stay tuned. We're gonna get these things off, take them apart, and give you a little closer look from the inside out. Okay, inside out, the Alpine Stars Missile V2 Airflow Leather Pants. Here is the knee and shin armor that comes included, CE Level 1 certified. This is the same stuff you're gonna find in their race suits. It's really effective, large coverage area. To remove the armor, you have to zip open the panel inside the mesh liner. The liner itself is not removable. There is an access port back here. You just zip it open and you can slide your arm inside the leg of the pant to remove that, okay? This has pockets ready to accept hip armor. The hip armor does not come included, right? That is an additional purchase. Let's see if we can't get inside the pant here. This actually has Velcro in hip armor. I misspoke. There is no pocket for it. Here is the Velcro patch right here. And they also use this, right? This is part of the double layer of leather that is in the hip and seat area for additional abrasion resistance. Back of the pant. Calf expansion zipper on both sides. If you're bigger in the calves, you zip that open and it's going to make it much easier to get your pants zipped up. Tailbone protector is integrated. It's not CE certified, but it is stitched into that area. It's fixed in place. The stretch fabric that we're using here is going to be lighter weight than what we see with the track V2 leather pants. Those are a little more expensive, a little more serious. This is going to wear a little bit lighter, okay? And it's abrasion resistance. is going to be a little bit less than we'll see with the track V2. With that said, the stretch fabric is out of your standard impact and abrasion zone, so it's really not a big concern. Get to the front of the pants. With the airflow version, look at all the perforation you have here in the upper thigh, right, all the way up into the hip. That, along with the air that flows through that stretch fabric, these pants are going to cool really well, considering they're a leather pair of pants. 
It's got a nice motion panel here above the knee. Alpine Stars logo is embroidered on. These are replaceable knee pucks. These are your sport knee sliders. Of all the Alpine Star sliders, these are the fastest wearing, just so you know, if you're a real heavy knee dragger. They're only going to last, you know, just a, a little period of time there. Little grip panel on the inside. This is embossed right there in the leather. It just helps to interact with the gas tank on the bike for a little additional grip, right? When you're riding hard. Entering exit is managed with a large gauge YKK zip. We have a metal clasp and then a metal snap. Volume adjustment is provided here with textile and a D-ring. You'll note behind it, they're using that same stretch fabric that you see in the inner thigh. And that just bunches up a lot easier. If you had leather all the way around the waist, that's totally out of the impact zone. If you had leather all the way around the waist, when you go to tug on that and draw it in, it bunches up a lot more and reduces the comfort quite a bit for the rider. The pants also include both halves of the zipper. Let's say that you don't have a compatible jacket. This will be compatible with all of the Alpine Stars leather jackets, right? Let's say you have an off-brand jacket, different brand, it's not compatible. You can take this other half of the zip to any seamstress, they stitch it on the jacket, and you now would be able to use these pants with that jacket. Any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself. I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.